Hey guys, Taylor here. Welcome to Cooking with Simply Betta. I have a lot of mouths to feed. Three adults, a kid, a baby, a fat chihuahua, 50 or so fish, and like four million snails. Yes, I said snails. Historically on this channel, I have hated snails with a burning passion. I detested them. I loathed them with their little shells and their eggs and their creepy little feet sliding on the glass. But I've changed my mind. I now think that pink and blue ram's horn snails are actually really cute. Some people hate ram's horn snails like I used to, but I've grown to love them. I like seeing them. I like their colors. I like it when I feed them and they all come from everywhere in the tank and they just swarm all over their food. I've also come to like Malaysian trumpet snails. I think they're neat. Oh, they dig around and they, you know, they're useful. They aerate the soil. But I like it when they emerge from the soil like little tremors to feed. Tremors was actually a really scary movie. Like I still think about it sometimes. Please nobody mention pond snails though. Like I'm, I'm only so tolerant. I'm not a saint. Because I like seeing my pretty little snails now, I like to feed them their own food. Not just excess fish food or detritus from the tank. Like I like to feed them their own thing. This makes a nice difference in their size and their shells and the amount of snails that there are. So what do you feed snails? Anything, they're snails. But if you enjoy being a little extra sometimes, like me, you can always make your own nutrient dense, calcium rich, sinking snail food. Well, I'm not buying food just to feed snails. You don't have to. Just use kitchen scraps that you would otherwise have thrown out. This is how I do it. This is my freezer. There's a lot of stuff in here. Sometimes when I accumulate veggie scraps, I'll just throw them in my freezer to save them for the snails, which totally isn't weird. If you have goldfish, this would probably be a really good idea too, because they'd go nuts over this. Sadly, I don't have any goldfish yet. Today I have some old chopped spinach I'm never gonna use. I have a bag full of kale scraps and some strawberries. I have some old carrots, some more strawberries, and some freezer burnt sweet potato. I also looked in my fridge to see if there was anything I could use and I have some tired cabbage. I'll cut the dried, tired parts off and then use that for the snails. Save the rest for me. First, I'm just gonna cook some of this down to make it easier to blend. I'll chop the cabbage. Get that sweet potato ready. There's my carrots, kale scraps, strawberries, spinach. I'm just throwing all this in a steamer. It goes straight into the food processor to blend it up. I'll add the strawberries. Yum. Now I'll make some gelatin. Gelatin is what binds the food into that really nice thick gel, which will be heavy and sink to the bottom. I use a powdered gelatin from the grocery store and then I dissolve it in some warm water. All day long, it's just baby toy noises. So I'm gonna pour my delicious snail slop. Add your snail slop to your best glass bowl for a truly lovely presentation. Now I have my blended food, which is still warm, and my prepared gelatin, and I'm going to mix it all together. I'm doing this slowly and by hand so air bubbles don't get in there because that would make the food float. I've mixed it all up in a blender before and I sure got some floaty food. Now that it's nicely mixed, I'll pour it into a lined tray to set. The plastic really, really helps get the gel out. If you wanna be just a little more extra, you can also use molds. I think the snails will really appreciate these heart shapes. I put my snail food in the fridge for a few hours to set. It can take anywhere from two hours to overnight, just depending on how deep your layer is. After it fully set, it turned into a nice solid brick of food. The hearts were adorable, as expected. The plastic wrap makes it easier to remove the food from the dish, and then I can cut it up into whatever size pieces that I want. I just put it in plastic containers with some parchment paper, kind of separating out some layers so it doesn't all freeze together. Here's what it looks like at the end. 
I used like 10 packets of gelatin and I got a pretty dense result that's easy to handle, but I might use a few more packets next time. My bettas really liked this too, they kept picking at it. Maybe for my next cooking video, I'll make some fish food meant for bettas and some of my other fish. What do you think guys, would that be fun? And if your snails don't like it, you can always feed it to your children and loved ones. Open them. Mommy. What are they? Blah. Ew, this is not a Thanks for watching. Be sure to sub if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. See you next time. <laughs>